Hey everyone, it's Bo from GrowthWise. Today we're just gonna do a quick video on what you need to do if you've got a new phone and you need to move your um, authenticator so you can still log into Xero. So the first step is just go to Xero.com and then log in as you normally would, which I'm doing now. Once you get to this screen, you'll notice down the bottom, you've got a button that says use another authentication method. Click on that. Now, the two options that you can use if you don't have your, obviously the authenticator on your phone is security questions or alternative email address. Now, if you've set this up a long time ago, it's likely that you won't have an alternative email address. So you, you're probably best off to use the security questions. So that's what I'm gonna to use to get into Xero right now. And then as you can see, we've logged all the way into Xero. Now, once we're in Xero, if we click on in our top right-hand corner, the little icon that has our name uh, tag on it, and then go to account. You'll see that there's a little icon that says two-step authentication. We're going to click on disable. Now again, it's gonna take you back to this screen. You're going to say, use another authentication method, use the secret questions. And you can see now the two-factor authentication has been disabled. Once we're back on this screen, we can click on enable. And this is the part that always seems to get people a little bit confused. This is the QR code that you actually need for any of the authentication apps. So what you actually need to do, grab your phone, um, open the authenticator app, and then hold your phone up to scan the code in. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do that now. Once you've done that, you can click on continue and it's going to ask you to enter in the code that you've just put got in your in your Google Authenticator app. You can use other apps, but we've always found that Google Authenticator works the best and just the easiest. Now, on this screen, you can then set your secret questions. Now, for these, make sure that you remember what you've answered and how you've answered them because if you don't remember these questions and you don't have access to an alternate email address, you will not be able to get back into zero. So all you need to do here is just pick one of the uh, names from one of the questions from the drop-down list. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna make these up because obviously as a security system, you should never show this stuff, but I'd like to show everyone so that we know what to do. So you'll notice that I've made the everything just lowercase. The other reason for that is the answers that you put in here, if they're not lowercase, you've got to enter them in exactly as they are. So if I wrote um, red Ferrari, for example, for dream car, and I wrote it with a capital R like that, next time I wanted to actually answer these secret questions, if I didn't use a capital R, zero is going to reject it. So I always find that the easiest way to do this is just use all lowercase um, words so that it's easier to remember. And again, as well, make sure it's stuff that's, that's easy to remember is another key thing here. Once you've done that, click on continue. <clears throat> now you can add another email address. We recommend doing this. So if you have someone else that you can actually have access to their email, this just sends them a code to allow you to get into zero to do this process again, if you need to. I'm just gonna click not now for it. It's not necessary, but we do recommend it. So now at this point, you can see it says status enabled. That means that we're all good to go again. If we log out of zero, and then go to log back in. Now I do actually have the code and I can put it in, but you'll notice as well as I say, use another authentication method, my security questions have changed to what I've changed them to. So that's what you need to do if you've changed phones. You have to log in using your secret questions or an alternative email address. Now, if you cannot get in with your secret questions or your alternative email address, you'll need to call us because we then have to go through a security process with Zero where they verify both ours and your identity uh, just to make sure that you can actually access the application. So much easier to do this process and you know, keep all of the data that you need or have an alternate email address to give you that ability to get into Zero. Thanks.